Hello, my fellow zoomates. Who's excited for today's developer journal? Journal, it's weather. Yay. So let's go right into it. So today we got a lovely journal all about weather. Because it was discussed before, but now we have more details. So to me, the most exciting things we already seen in the video, but now it's concrete. It is the interesting behavior each animal will have with different uh, weathers. So the weather ranges from sunny to cloudy, light and heavy rain, snow, and there's a range of temper temperatures between that. To rain, first you're gonna see clouds, and then the light rain, uh, followed by heavy rain and whatnot. And if temperatures are right, you get the snow. So it's gonna, it's gonna give you a little warning. Um, of how the temperature is going to change. Good thing is on Sandbox, you get to turn this off. So if you don't want to deal with this, uh, you can just turn it off and play as you wish. But the interesting thing about keeping it on is you will, will get different reactions from the animals with, towards the weathers. You will get different behaviors and animations. This is an example of the elephant. When it's hot, he plays with mud and dust over his head. And when there is snow, that dust gets replaced to snow. You're gonna see different animals react to it. Look, the bear seems so happy on, while it snows. Uh, the good thing is you, animals will be happy. You will be able to have uh, desert animals in a cold zoo with no problem because it was confirmed we are gonna have heaters and coolers. It explained you can put in the habitat uh, one picture here, now we can assume for sure these are heaters or coolers. Right here, I can see three. One, two, and three. So they're gonna, they have a radius to it, uh, either cooling or heating, and the animals, if they feel it's too cold the, or too hot, they will always go towards uh, the comfortable, what makes them comfortable. So let's say it's uh, hot outside and they like cold, they'll be around the radius of the, cool, of the cooling mechanism. Or if it's hot, they will go to the water if there's no cooling um, in the exhibit. So you, the animals are smart, they will react towards their, their weather and they will find ways to make themselves comfortable. But if there's no cooling, heating or water, anything that will make them comfortable, uh, they will, it will affect the welfare. So it is something important to keep in mind. One thing I can think about for sure when with cooling and heating is uh, bills. I'm sure if we choose to use that, we're gonna get better, uh, higher bills with the electricity. So good thing is there's the river in case there's hot, they can just go to the, uh, the river and swim. So that's gonna be a cheaper alternative. I'm sure with the Zootopia effects, we're gonna get the range for that animal of temperature. They will go, uh, let's say probably the bears can go a higher range because they they can go to cold climates, but they're also used to warmer climates. So that's the range you're gonna be happy on. So as long as the weather is between that range, probably you won't need to worry about cooling or heating. But for an animal in the desert, he just likes the hot, you have to be mindful of whenever the, the weather changes in over that short uh, the range. And I'm sure the range of the Zootopia effect will be actual numbers. And you will get access to that number in the bottom of your screen. Whenever it's over that, then you, you have to check on that animal if you don't have the, whatever, the cooler for it to not feel uh, cold. But again, if this is too much for you on Sandbox, you can just turn it off. But uh, this is this is something very interesting. You're gonna get different animation, you're gonna get different feedbacks from your animals and from the guests too. I'll talk about the guests more. When it comes to rain, your animals will find shelter under trees, bridges that you build over the e exhibits and caves or huts or shelters they put in. So every animal that is bothered by rain, you should put there. I'm thinking some animals that enjoy water like the hippos, uh, crocodiles, animals that are usually most, well, a lot of the times on in water, maybe you shouldn't worry so much about shelter, I'm thinking. They won't mind the rain. Maybe the light rain will be okay, the heavy rain they will need shelter. This is something they haven't gone in details about. 
that but i'm sure if they don't have any type of shelter and they are exposed to the rain i'm thinking they're either gonna get sick or they it's gonna affect their welfare because especially some zoos they might rain over and over and that's gonna bother them if they don't have shelters and now let's talk about the guests they're also gonna uh, feel cold hot and be bothered by the rain so when it's raining you can get cell umbrellas which is very nice if you played uh roller coaster tycoon one it was like a quick cash grab i feel bad saying this but i if you play it i know you've done it too so um i remember when it wasn't raining it was like 50 cents the umbrella no one would pay and when it started raining it could go up to 15 dollars and everyone it will sell out I, I believe everyone did this. Let's. I'm not sure if the zoo plan, uh, plan two they will be uh, smarter than that to not over, uh, not buy when they only when they need it and buy it cheap. But I'm just it's just a nostalgic uh, thing. So they will buy umbrellas if it's raining, and they will feel hot uh, when it's hot, and they will feel uh, they will shiver when it's cold. I'm in Florida, so I'm very used to going to Disney, SeaWorld, Universal, countless times, can't even count them right now. And I, since here is always hot, I, I love those fans with the mist. Uh, it's just, it's, it's not a problem for me to wait in line as long as there's a fan with the mist coming to me. And it, it will make my day better, for sure. So with that in mind, if guests are hot in your zoo, I'm thinking all if there is these things, it will help them enjoy being staying there. Because I know without the, those fans, I would I couldn't stay as until the end until the night of, on the parks. So if you keep your guests comfortable, I'm sure they will stay over and spend more time spending more time with your zoo, increasing your fame, and spending money on your zoo as well while while being there. So it is important to invest on your with your guests. Make sure they can have access to umbrellas and shelter when it's raining, not only for your animals, but for, for your guests. And if it's uh, too hot, provide, we don't know yet what kind of objects we have available, but provide things for them to be uh, comfortable. On this picture here, um, there is this thing here on the path, which uh, it looks like a heater for guests. It's not for animals for sure, because it's on the path. And I see kind of little flame, kind of those things you, we see in uh, restaurants. Well, I mean, Florida, I don't see it much, but for cold temperatures and people wants to be outside, then there's this heater uh, outside for them to be comfortable. It remi this reminds me of that. So I'm guessing this is our for these are for guests. If it gets too cold, then they can hang around here until uh, until it goes away. One nice detail about the coolers and the heaters is if it's a cooler and it's snowing around that radius of the cooler, it, the, melt, uh, the snow won't, won't melt as fast. So animals can interact with the snow there for longer. Same thing with the heater. If it's snowing around the radius of the heater, the snow will melt faster. So animals will be comfortable. So that is a very nice touch. It takes time, it takes thinking, and it takes action to make these changes. It's small, we sometimes we don't appreciate it, but someone thought about it and put it in effect. And that is something very appreciated. Thank you, Frontier. You can extend snow if you wish, or you can melt snow if you wish with these. But keep in mind, I'm, I'm thinking here, these, probably, these are probably not cheap. So they come with a cost. But again, it's for the welfare of your animals and I'm sure we will we'll put in the budget. And again, Sandbox, we probably won't need to worry about money or weather if we choose to. I'm very excited for this game. Every day with different news, I get even more excited. Gamescom is coming up in the end of the month and we're gonna get a lot of information. It's sad I won't be able to go, uh, but I know they're gonna be sharing these with us. So we, we can talk more about it when it comes. And I know it's gonna be playable. I really I really wish I was able to play it. But beta is coming and I'll, I'll wait until then. Thank you guys for sticking with me. Hit a like, subscribe, it means a lot to me. And thank you, see you next time, bye.